I have to just, we started out with Lena Dunham. I have to end with Ashley Judd. Ashley Judd. Lena Dunham is patrolling our airports, making sure that nobody says anything mean about transgenders. Here is Ashley Judd. What is this with these rich, white, privileged, I mean, these are the most privileged people on earth, rich, white actresses. Can you get any more privileged? What would you have to be to be more privileged? Here's Ashley Judd telling the nightmarish story of what happened to her in the airport. I was coming through security and a guy said, hey, sweetheart. And I said, I'm not your sweetheart. I am your client. So I was already setting a boundary. And then when I was setting my things out, he said, hey, nice dress. I didn't hear him saying anything about the attire of any of the other folks in the entire line. And I am in one of the most traveled airports in the world. I'm surrounded by lots and lots of other people in lots of different kinds of dress. I set my stuff on the doohickey, you know, the doohickey that rolls. And I was speaking with one of his colleagues. She was saying, do you have on high heeled shoes, whatever. And guess what happened next? He touched me. I didn't see him touch anybody else. And I turned around and I said, that was unnecessary. By the time, you know, my skin is burning, my feet are burning, it's so hard to continue to set these boundaries when someone continues to push. And then for, then for good measure, he just said one more time, have a good day, sweetheart. So I have plenty of time. I'm really early for my flight and I caught my breath and I said my prayers and you know my my intention is to put principles above personalities I'm not here to be controversial I'm not here to um, be combative but I asked for a manager and I introduced myself and I shook his hand and I asked for his name and I explained the situation and I also explained um, that there were lots of other people who saw it the struggle is real folks that's like you know you know what I wanted to bring in I wanted to bring in a mashup of every sex scene that she ever did in movies. I mean, the, the reason she is who she is is because she's an attractive woman and that was part of her, you know, acting stuff and that's why you put her on screen. And it's just, I mean, that's her, that's her problem. The other thing about this, by the way, is I, I don't know, this could be a guy, girl difference, but I fall, I fall crazy in love, crazily in love with any woman who calls me sweetheart or baby or anything like that. You know, I, I go down to when I buy my wife flowers at this shop, there's this lady, she's got to be, I don't know, 70 or something like this. And, and she's, uh, she's a black lady and she calls me boo all the time. And I always go home and say to my wife, you almost lost me. You know, like all you have to do is call me, I'm so easy. You know, all you have to do is call me boo and I'm gone.